Am I can be heard now? Thank you very much and a hearty congratulations to the ITI for this uh, magnificent uh, art of togetherness that uh, we are having during this pandemic times. My name is Ricardo Abad. I am from the Philippines, but I am also the current president of the Asia Pacific Bond of Theater Schools. Uh, with me in the online audience are several of our members listening uh, to this uh, assembly. The APB, which we call APB, is a consortium of, at the moment, 26 theater schools and conservatories uh, from across the region. On December 18, uh, five days from now, we are having a, our 13th annual directors meeting and online student theater festival, but it is also our first general meeting as an international partner of the ITI. And it is that connection we are looking forward the most as it will enhance our work even more. Well, the APB was founded in 2006 during the ITI Congress in Manila, and it aims three things. One, to promote Asian Pacific theater. Second is to enhance or improve the theater training of our students in a kind of cross-cultural context through festivals and workshops. And the third is to be able to enhance our work further by linking with national or transnational organizations within and outside the region. Now, the Philippines or the Asia Pacific region is home to 60% of the world's population. And uh, it also houses the world's greatest and largest cities, some of the world's greatest and largest cities. And um, our region exhibits a tremendous uh, ecological and diversity and a social economic diversity. At the same time, it shows uh, a great deal of um, a great deal of political and cultural practices and a variety of artistic uh, forms. And uh, over the years, our school, our region, the Asia Pacific region, has experienced rapid social change, and uh, that has brought massive economic growth, but it has also led to unprecedented threats in our natural resources, our mountains, our seas, our forests, the air we breathe, and also to physical and threats to our physical and emotional well-being. And these are the concerns we hope that we, we address more and more in the coming years when we do our theater. Uh, the I, APB believes that theater education and training will help strengthen global sustainability. And governing our work are the values close to the ITI, the collegiality, the openness, the inclusiveness, equality, democracy, dialogue. And these are the values we want to permeate in the lives of the students, as well as to permeate in their theater works. But we cannot do it alone. Any organization cannot do it alone. That is the one of the big major lessons of the pandemic. The pandemic has given us a more international outlook and an international desire for international practice. And as we seek to connect more and more with organizations uh, and centers around the world, this is a desire that we keep hearing in this uh, conference, in this assembly. So the APB, we at the APB would like our representative from the IPI centers to come and uh, visit and join us in our annual meetings and to join us in partnership with our teams to work on a topic of common interest. Uh, the first step is to know each other. And this is the magnificent achievement of this assembly. We get to know each other, but more has to be done. So maybe in the future, we will have more meetings, not as large as this, but maybe smaller meetings between centers or between partner organizations or between centers and partner organizations, and even with scientists and journalists and media people so that we can arrive at a more a wider understanding of how we can be change or influencers in up in the world and that is what we want as we go so that we can we have to more than know each other 
We have to learn more about how we can work together, how more we can collaborate, and how we can collectively, collectively, collectively build a sustainable and compassionate theater. So thank you very much. Uh, long live, uh, as we say in the Philippines, mabuhay. So mabuhay, ITI. Merci beaucoup.